One. Listen and practice. What is Earth? Let's look at Earth. Let's look at oceans and rivers, mountains and forests. Earth is amazing, and it has lots of amazing places. We're in space, and we're looking at Earth. What can we see? We can see many colors. We can see land. Water and clouds. Earth is a planet. There are many, many planets in space, but there's only one Earth. Earth is our home. Millions of plants, animals, and people live here. On the land, there are forests, mountains, and deserts. Most of Earth's water is in oceans, but there's water in lakes and rivers too. Earth goes around the sun every year. Earth also turns every day. Listen. And practice. What is Earth? Let's look at Earth. Let's look at Earth. Let's look at Earth. Let's look at oceans and rivers, mountains and forests. Let's look at oceans and rivers, mountains and forests. Let's look at oceans and rivers, mountains and forests. Earth is amazing, and it has lots of amazing places. Earth is amazing, and it has lots of amazing places. Earth is amazing, and it has lots of amazing places.
We're in space, and we're looking at Earth. We're in space, and we're looking at Earth. We're in space, and we're looking at Earth. What can we see? What can we see? What can we see? We can see many colors. We can see many colors. We can see many colors. We can see land, water, and clouds. We can see land, water, and clouds. We can see land, water, and clouds. Earth is a planet. Earth is a planet. Earth is a planet. There are many, many planets in space. There are many, many planets in space. There are many, many planets in space. But there's only one Earth. But there's only one Earth. But there's only one Earth. Earth is our home. Earth is our home. Earth
Earth is our home. Millions of plants, animals, and people live here. Millions of plants, animals, and people live here. Millions of plants, animals, and people live here. On the land, there are forests, mountains, and deserts. On the land, there are forests, mountains, and deserts. On the land, there are forests, mountains, and deserts. Most of Earth's water is in oceans, but there's water in lakes and rivers, too. Most of Earth's water is in oceans, but there's water in lakes and rivers, too. Most of Earth's water is in oceans, but there's water in lakes and rivers, too. Earth goes around the sun every year. Earth goes around the sun every year. Earth goes around the sun every year. Earth also turns every day. Earth also turns every day. Earth also turns every day.
Listen and practice. What is Earth? Let's look at Earth. Let's look at oceans and rivers, mountains and forests. Earth is amazing, and it has lots of amazing places. We're in space, and we're looking at Earth. What can we see? We can see many colors. We can see land, water, and clouds. Earth is a planet. There are many, many planets in space, but there's only one Earth. Earth is our home. Millions of plants, animals, and people live here. On the land, there are forests, mountains, and deserts. Most of Earth's water is in oceans, but there's water in lakes and rivers too. Earth goes around the sun every year. Earth also turns every day. Listen and practice. What is Earth? Let's look at Earth. Let's look at Earth. Let's look at Earth. Let's look at oceans and rivers, mountains and forests. Let's look at oceans and rivers, mountains and forests. Let's look at oceans and rivers, mountains and forests. Earth is amazing, and it has lots of amazing places. Earth is amazing, and it has lots of amazing places. Earth is amazing, and it has lots of amazing places.
We're in space, and we're looking at Earth. We're in space, and we're looking at Earth. We're in space, and we're looking at Earth. What can we see? What can we see? What can we see? We can see many colors. We can see many colors. We can see many colors. We can see land, water, and clouds. We can see land, water, and clouds. We can see land, water, and clouds. Earth is a planet. Earth is a planet. Earth is a planet. There are many, many planets in space. There are many, many planets in space. There are many, many planets in space. But there's only one Earth. But there's only one Earth. But there's only one Earth. Earth is our home. Earth is our home. Earth is our home. 
Earth is our home. Millions of plants, animals, and people live here. Millions of plants, animals, and people live here. Millions of plants, animals, and people live here. On the land, there are forests, mountains, and deserts. On the land, there are forests, mountains, and deserts. On the land, there are forests, mountains, and deserts. Most of Earth's water is in oceans, but there's water in lakes and rivers, too. Most of Earth's water is in oceans, but there's water in lakes and rivers, too. Most of Earth's water is in oceans, but there's water in lakes and rivers, too. Earth goes around the sun every year. Earth goes around the sun every year. Earth goes around the sun every year. Earth also turns every day. Earth also turns every day. Earth also turns every day.
Listen and practice. Earth's crust. Earth is round, like an orange. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. We call this skin Earth's crust. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Earth's crust has different pieces. These pieces move very, very slowly. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. English reading practice. Earth's crust. Earth's crust. Earth's crust. Earth is round, like an orange. Earth is round, like an orange. Earth is round, like an orange. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. We call this skin Earth's crust. We call this skin Earth's crust. We call this skin Earth's crust. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Earth's crust has different pieces. Earth's crust has different pieces. Earth's crust has different pieces. These pieces move very, very slowly. These pieces move very, very slowly. These pieces move very, very slowly. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved 
and made mountains. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. Listen and practice. Earth's crust. Earth is round, like an orange. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. We call this skin Earth's crust. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Earth's crust has different pieces. These pieces move very, very slowly. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. English reading practice. Earth's crust. Earth's crust. Earth's crust. Earth is round, like an orange. Earth is round, like an orange. Earth is round, like an orange. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. We call this skin Earth's crust.
We call this skin Earth's crust. We call this skin Earth's crust. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Earth's crust has different pieces. Earth's crust has different pieces. Earth's crust has different pieces. These pieces move very, very slowly. These pieces move very, very slowly. These pieces move very, very slowly. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. Two. Listen and practice. English reading practice. A world of water. Why do we have to have water? All life on this earth came out of the seas. Life began in the water. First, there were very small plants and animals. Then, there were plants on the land. About 300 million years later, 
the first small animals came out of the sea. They used the plants for food. In time, there were more and more animals on the land, and they got bigger and bigger. Today, all people, plants and animals, need water, and they carry it inside them. People are more than 60% water, and some plants are 95% water. We can't live without it. Trees, flowers, animals, birds and people all die without water. We live the first nine months of our lives in water inside our mothers. When we are born, we come into the air. But we carry about 40 litres of water with us all the time inside us. Without it, we die quite quickly. Every day, we lose about two and a half litres. When the weather is hot, we lose more water and faster. And we have to put it back. Only about half of this water comes from drinking. The other half comes from our food. Listen and practice. English reading practice. A world of water. A world of water. A world of water. Why do we have to have water? Why do we have to have water? Why do we have to have water? All life on this earth came out of the seas. All life on this earth came out of the seas. All life on this earth came out of the seas. Life began in the water. Life began in the water. Life began in the water. Then there were plants on the land. Then there were plants on the land. Then there were plants on the land. About 300 million years later, the first small animals came out of the sea. About 300 million years later, the first small animals came out of the sea. About 300 million years later, the first small animals came out of the sea. They used the plants for food. They used the plants for food. They used the plants for food. In time, 
there were more and more animals on the land, and they got bigger and bigger. In time, there were more and more animals on the land, and they got bigger and bigger. In time, there were more and more animals on the land, and they got bigger and bigger. Today, all people, plants and animals need water, and they carry it inside them. Today, all people, plants and animals need water, and they carry it inside them. Today, all people, plants and animals need water, and they carry it inside them. People are more than 60% water, and some plants are 95% water. People are more than 60% water, and some plants are 95% water. People are more than 60% water, and some plants are 95% water. We can't live without it. We can't live without it. We can't live without it. Trees, flowers, animals, birds and people all die without water. Trees, flowers, animals, birds and people all die without water. Trees, flowers, animals, birds and people all die without water. We live the first nine months of our lives in water inside our mothers. We live the first nine months of our lives in water, inside our mothers. We live the first nine months of our lives in water, inside our mothers. When we are born, we come into the air. When we are born, we come into the air. When we are born, we come into the air. But we carry about 40 litres of water with us all the time, inside us. But we carry about 40 litres of water with us all the time, inside us. But we carry about 40 litres of water with us all the time, inside us. Without it, we die quite quickly. Without it, we die 
quite quickly. Without it, we die quite quickly. Every day, we lose about two and a half litres. Every day, we lose about two and a half litres. Every day, we lose about two and a half litres. When the weather is hot, we lose more water and faster. When the weather is hot, we lose more water and faster. When the weather is hot, we lose more water and faster. And we have to put it back. And we have to put it back. And we have to put it back. Only about half of this water comes from drinking. Only about Half of this water comes from drinking. Only about half of this water comes from drinking. The other half comes from our food. The other half comes from our food. The other half comes from our food. Listen and practice. English reading practice. A world of water. Why do we have to have water? All life on this earth came out of the seas. Life began in the water. First, there were very small plants and animals. Then, there were plants on the land. About 300 million years later, the first small animals came out of the sea. They used the plants for food. In time, there were more and more animals on the land, and they got bigger and bigger. Today, all people, plants and animals, need water, and they carry it inside them. People are more than 60% water, and some plants are 95% water. We can't live without it. Trees, flowers, animals, birds and people all die without water. We live the first nine months of our lives in water inside our mothers. When we are born, we come into the air. But we carry about 40 litres of water with us all the time, inside us. Without it, we die quite quickly. Every day, we lose about two and a half litres.
when the weather is hot, we lose more water and faster, and we have to put it back. Only about half of this water comes from drinking. The other half comes from our food. Listen and practice. English reading practice. A world of water. Why do we have to have water? All life on this earth came out of the seas. Life began in the water. First, there were very small plants and animals. Then, there were plants on the land. About three hundred million years later, the first small animals came out of the sea. They used the plants for food. In time, there were more and more animals on the land, and they got bigger and bigger. Today, all people, plants and animals, need water and they carry it inside them. People are more than 60% water, and some plants are 95% water. We can't live without it. Trees, flowers, animals, birds and people all die without water. We live the first nine months of our lives in water inside our mothers. When we are born, we come into the air. But we carry about 40 litres of water with us all the time, inside us. Without it, we die quite quickly. Every day, we lose about two and a half litres. When the weather is hot, we lose more water and faster, and we have to put it back. Only about half of this water comes from drinking. The other half comes from our food. Listen and practice. English reading practice. A world of water. A world of water. A world of water. Why do we have to have water? Why do we have to have water? Why do we have to have water? All life on this earth came out of the seas. All life on this earth came out of the seas. All life on this earth came out of the seas. Life began in the water. Life began in the water. Life began in the water. Then there were plants on the land. Then there were plants on the land. Then 
Then there were plants on the land. About 300 million years later, the first small animals came out of the sea. About 300 million years later, the first small animals came out of the sea. About 300 million years later, the first small animals came out of the sea. They used the plants for food. They used the plants for food. They used the plants for food. In time, there were more and more animals on the land, and they got bigger and bigger. In time, there were more and more animals on the land. And they got bigger and bigger. In time, there were more and more animals on the land. And they got bigger and bigger. Today, all people, plants and animals, need water. And they carry it inside them. Today, all people, plants and animals, need water and they carry it inside them. Today, all people, plants and animals need water, and they carry it inside them. People are more than 60% water, and some plants are 95% water. People are more than 60% water, and some plants are 95% water. People are more than 60% water, and some plants are 95% water. We can't live without it. We can't live without it. We can't live without it. Trees, flowers, animals, birds and people all die without water. Trees, flowers, animals, birds and people all die without water. Trees, flowers, animals, birds and people all die without water. We live the first nine months of our lives in water inside our mothers. We live the first nine months of our lives in water, inside our mothers. We live the first nine months of our lives in water, inside our mothers. When we are born, we come into the air. When we are born, we come into the air.
When we are born, we come into the air. But we carry about 40 litres of water with us all the time, inside us. But we carry about 40 litres of water with us all the time, inside us. But we carry about 40 litres of water with us all the time, inside us. Without it, we die quite quickly. Without it, we die quite quickly. Without it, we die quite quickly. Every day, we lose about two and a half litres. Every day, we lose about two and a half litres. Every day, we lose about two and a half litres. When the weather is hot, we lose more water and faster. When the weather is hot, we lose more water and faster. When the weather is hot, we lose more water and faster. And we have to put it back. And we have to put it back. And we have to put it back. Only about half of this water comes from drinking. Only about Half of this water comes from drinking. Only about half of this water comes from drinking. The other half comes from our food. The other half comes from our food. The other half comes from our food. Listen and practice. English reading practice. A world of water. Why do we have to have water? All life on this earth came out of the seas. Life began in the water. First, there were very small plants and animals. Then, there were plants on the land. About 300 million years later, the first small animals came out of the sea. They used the plants for food. In time, there were more and more animals on the land, and they got bigger and bigger. 
Today, all people, plants and animals, need water. And they carry it inside them. People are more than 60% water. And some plants are 95% water. We can't live without it. Trees, flowers, animals, birds and people all die without water. We live the first nine months of our lives in water, inside our mothers. When we are born, we come into the air. But we carry about 40 litres of water with us all the time, inside us. Without it, we die quite quickly. Every day, we lose about two and a half litres. When the weather is hot, we lose more water and faster. And we have to put it back. Only about half of this water comes from drinking. The other half comes from our food. Listen and practice. English reading practice. Water from rain. There is 30 times more water in groundwater than in the world's rivers and lakes. Everybody has to have clean water. So where does it come from? It comes, of course, from rain. But there are always problems with rain. In some places, it doesn't rain for months. In other places, or in the same places, it suddenly rains for days. In countries across the centre of Africa and in South Asia, heavy rain usually starts to fall in the middle of June. It rains every day for two or three months, and there are floods. But farmers can then use the land. In the other months of the year, there is not much rain. It is very hot and dry, and there is not enough water. In some places in North Africa and the west of Australia, it doesn't rain for years. For every person in Europe and the United States, 3,000 to 6,000 litres of rain falls every day. But it doesn't always fall in the right places. A lot of it falls in mountains, and most people don't live in the mountains. The rainwater runs into the ground or into rivers and the rivers take it away to the sea. We also lose a lot of rain because it falls in the sea. There is always water in the air. When you put wet clothes out in warm air, they get dry. After it rains on the roads, a lot of the water goes up into the air. You can see it. This happens because the sun is taking the water from the ground into the air. The air takes up water from the seas too. And this water is fresh, not salty. The salt stays in the sea. Warm air can carry more water than cold air. When the air gets colder, it starts to lose the water. Then we see clouds. The air moves in the wind. Then, when warm air meets high ground, it goes higher. The warm air gets colder, and the water in the air makes clouds. 
the clouds get colder and darker, and the water gets heavier. Then it starts to rain. When the air is very cold, it snows. Rain or snow falls to the ground, and a lot of it runs into rivers. The rivers run into the sea. Then it all starts again. It doesn't have to rain. When wet air meets something cold, water falls on it. Look at your car in the early morning, or the trees in your garden. After a cold night, everything is wet with fresh water from the air. This is clean water. In countries without much rain, they often drink this water. In Tunisia, the weather is very dry. But in the early mornings, the ground is often wet. In some places, people can plant fruit trees, and the trees do well. But is rain really clean water? Can we drink it? The answer is usually yes. But think about the rain after it falls. Water in rivers and lakes is fresh, but it isn't always clean. Dirty water runs into them from cities, factories, and farms. So we have to clean the water before we can drink it. Sometimes the air moves through smoke and dirty air above factories. Then the water in it gets dirty too. Later, when it falls, the rain can kill trees on the land and fish in lakes. A lot of rain runs into the ground, not into rivers, and it stays there. When we find this groundwater, we can pump it up. Usually, it is clean and fresh. More than half of the water in European and North American homes and workplaces comes from groundwater. Sometimes the water is only two or three meters under the ground. Sometimes it is a long way down. In the hottest and driest countries of the world, groundwater is very important. In the countries of North Africa, there is very little rain, but under the ground, there are great lakes of fresh water. For hundreds of years, North Africa had rain, and the rain stayed under the ground. There were rivers, trees, and a lot of people. Today, the people of North Africa pump this water up and use it. Saudi Arabia and other dry countries also use groundwater. Drivers take it from the pumps to the small villages. There is 30 times more water in groundwater than in the world's rivers and lakes. People pump up groundwater from old and new wells. Every year in the United States, there are 500,000 new wells. But groundwater will not always be there. When it rains, some water goes back into the ground. But this happens slowly. Sometimes there is no water in the wells. The wells are dry. There are other problems too. Near the sea, salt water can run into the groundwater. Then the wells are salty. More and more people need more and more water. One day, 
there will perhaps be no groundwater in some countries, or it will be too dirty for them. Listen and practice. English reading practice. Water from rain. Water from rain. Water from rain. There is thirty times more water in groundwater than in the world's rivers and lakes. There is thirty times more water in groundwater than in the world's rivers and lakes. There is thirty times more water in groundwater than in the world's rivers and lakes. Everybody has to have clean water. Everybody has to have clean water. Everybody has to have clean water. So, where does it come from? So, where does it come from? So, where does it come from? It comes, of course, from rain. It comes, of course, from rain. It comes, of course, from rain. But there are always problems with rain. But there are always problems with rain. But there are always problems with rain. In some places, it doesn't rain for months. In some places, it doesn't rain for months.
in some places, it doesn't rain for months. In other places, or in the same places, it suddenly rains for days. In other places, or in the same places, it suddenly rains for days. In other places, or in the same places, it suddenly rains for days. In countries across the centre of Africa and in South Asia, In countries across the centre of Africa and in South Asia, in countries across the centre of Africa and in South Asia, Heavy rain usually starts to fall in the middle of June. Heavy rain usually starts to fall in the middle of June. Heavy rain usually starts to fall in the middle of June. It rains every day for two or three months and there are floods. It rains every day for two or three months and there are floods. It rains every day for two or three months, and there are floods. But farmers can then use the land. But farmers can then use the land. But farmers can then use the land. In the other months of the year, there is not much rain. In the other months of the year, there is not much rain.
in the other months of the year, there is not much rain. It is very hot and dry, and there is not enough water. It is very hot and dry, and there is not enough water. It is very hot and dry and there is not enough water. In some places in North Africa and the west of Australia, it doesn't rain for years. In some places in North Africa and the west of Australia, it doesn't rain for years. In some places in North Africa, and the west of Australia, it doesn't rain for years. For every person in Europe and the United States, 3,000 to 6,000 litres of rain falls every day. For every person in Europe and the United States, 3,000 to 6,000 litres of rain falls every day. For every person in Europe and the United States, 3,000 to 6,000 litres of rain falls every day. But it doesn't always fall in the right places. But it doesn't always fall in the right places. But it doesn't always fall in the right places. A lot of it falls in mountains, and most people don't live in the mountains. A lot of it falls in mountains. And most people don't live in the mountains. A 
a lot of it falls in mountains, and most people don't live in the mountains. The rainwater runs into the ground or into rivers, and the rivers take it away to the sea. The rainwater runs into the ground or into rivers, and the rivers take it away to the sea. The rainwater runs into the ground or into rivers, and the rivers take it away to the sea. We also lose a lot of rain because it falls in the sea. We also lose a lot of rain because it falls in the sea. We also lose a lot of rain because it falls in the sea. There is always water in the air. There is always water in the air. There is always water in the air. When you put wet clothes out in warm air, they get dry. When you put wet clothes out in warm air, they get dry. When you put wet clothes out in warm air, they get dry. After it rains on the roads, a lot of the water goes up into the air. After it rains on the roads, a lot of the water goes up into the air. After it rains on the roads, a lot of the water goes up into the air. You can see it.
You can see it. You can see it. This happens because the sun is taking the water from the ground into the air. This happens because the sun is taking the water from the ground into the air. This happens because the sun is taking the water from the ground into the air. The air takes up water from the seas too. And this water is fresh, not salty. The air takes up water from the seas too. And this water is fresh, not salty. The air takes up water from the seas too. And this water is fresh, not salty. The salt stays in the sea. The salt stays in the sea. The salt stays in the sea. Warm air can carry more water than cold air. Warm air can carry more water than cold air. Warm air can carry more water than cold air. When the air gets colder, it starts to lose the water. When the air gets colder, it starts to lose the water. When the air gets colder, it starts to lose the water. Then we see clouds.
then we see clouds. Then we see clouds. The air moves in the wind. The air moves in the wind. The air moves in the wind. Then, when warm air meets high ground, it goes higher. Then, when warm air meets high ground, it goes higher. Then, when warm air meets high ground, it goes higher. The warm air gets colder, and the water in the air makes clouds. The warm air gets colder, and the water in the air makes clouds. The warm air gets colder, and the water in the air makes clouds. The clouds get colder and darker, and the water gets heavier. The clouds get colder and darker, and the water gets heavier. The clouds get colder and darker, and the water gets heavier. Then it starts to rain. Then it starts to rain. Then it starts to rain. When the air is very cold, it snows.
When the air is very cold, it snows. When the air is very cold, it snows. Rain or snow falls to the ground, and a lot of it runs into rivers. Rain or snow falls to the ground, and a lot of it runs into rivers. Rain or snow falls to the ground, and a lot of it runs into rivers. The rivers run into the sea. The rivers run into the sea. The rivers run into the sea. Then it all starts again. Then it all starts again. Then it all starts again. It doesn't have to rain. It doesn't have to rain. It doesn't have to rain. When wet air meets something cold, water falls on it. When wet air meets something cold, Water falls on it. When wet air meets something cold, water falls on it. Look at your car in the early morning, or the trees in your garden. Look at your car in the early morning, or the trees in your garden.
Look at your car in the early morning, or the trees in your garden. After a cold night, everything is wet with fresh water from the air. After a cold night, everything is wet with fresh water from the air. After a cold night, everything is wet with fresh water from the air. This is clean water. This is clean water. This is clean water. In countries without much rain, they often drink this water. In countries without much rain, they often drink this water. In countries without much rain, they often drink this water. In Tunisia, the weather is very dry, but in the early mornings, the ground is often wet. In Tunisia, the weather is very dry, but in the early mornings, the ground is often wet. In Tunisia, the weather is very dry, but in the early mornings, the ground is often wet. In some places, people can plant fruit trees, and the trees do well. In some places, people can plant fruit trees, and the trees do well. In some places, People can plant fruit trees, and the trees do well.
But is rain really clean water? But is rain really clean water? But is rain really clean water? Can we drink it? Can we drink it? Can we drink it? The answer is usually yes. The answer is usually yes. The answer is usually yes. But think about the rain after it falls. But think about the rain after it falls. But think about the rain after it falls. Water in rivers and lakes is fresh, but it isn't always clean. Water in rivers and lakes is fresh, but it isn't always clean. Water in rivers and lakes is fresh, but it isn't always clean. Dirty water runs into them from cities, factories and farms. Dirty water runs into them from cities, factories and farms. Dirty water runs into them from cities, factories and farms. 
so we have to clean the water before we can drink it. So we have to clean the water before we can drink it. So we have to clean the water before we can drink it. Sometimes the air moves through smoke and dirty air above factories. Sometimes the air moves through smoke and dirty air above factories. Sometimes the air moves through smoke and dirty air above factories. Then the water in it gets dirty too. Then the water in it gets dirty too. Then the water in it gets dirty too. Later, when it falls, the rain can kill trees on the land and fish in lakes. Later, when it falls, the rain can kill trees on the land and fish in lakes. Later, when it falls, the rain can kill trees on the land and fish in lakes. A lot of rain runs into the ground, not into rivers, and it stays there. A lot of rain runs into the ground, not into rivers, and it stays there. A lot of rain runs into the ground, not into rivers and it stays there. When we find this groundwater, we can pump it up.
When we find this groundwater, we can pump it up. When we find this groundwater, we can pump it up. Usually, it is clean and fresh. Usually, it is clean and fresh. Usually, it is clean and fresh. More than half of the water in European and North American homes and workplaces comes from groundwater. More than half of the water in European and North American homes and workplaces comes from groundwater. More than half of the water in European and North American homes and workplaces. Sometimes the water is only two or three meters under the ground. Sometimes the water is only two or three meters under the ground. Sometimes the water is only two or three meters under the ground. Sometimes it is a long way down. Sometimes it is a long way down. Sometimes it is a long way down. In the hottest and driest countries of the world, groundwater is very important. In the hottest and driest countries of the world, groundwater is very important.
in the hottest and driest countries of the world, groundwater is very important. In the countries of North Africa, there is very little rain. In the countries of North Africa, there is very little rain. In the countries of North Africa, there is very little rain. But under the ground, there are great lakes of fresh water. But under the ground, there are great lakes of fresh water. But under the ground, there are great lakes of fresh water. For hundreds of years, North Africa had rain, and the rain stayed under the ground. For hundreds of years, North Africa had rain, and the rain stayed under the ground. For hundreds of years, North Africa had rain, and the rain stayed under the ground. There were rivers, trees, and a lot of people. There were rivers, trees, and a lot of people. There were rivers, trees, and a lot of people. Today, the people of North Africa Pump this water up and use it. Today, the people of North Africa pump this water up and use it. Today, the people of North Africa pump this water up and use it. Saudi Arabia and other dry countries also use groundwater.
Saudi Arabia and other dry countries also use groundwater. Saudi Arabia and other dry countries also use groundwater. Drivers take it from the pumps to the small villages. Drivers take it from the pumps to the small villages. Drivers take it from the pumps to the small villages. There is 30 times more water in groundwater than in the world's rivers and lakes. There is 30 times more water in groundwater than in the world's rivers and lakes. There is 30 times more water in groundwater than in the world's rivers and lakes. People pump up groundwater from old and new wells. People pump up groundwater from old and new wells. People pump up groundwater from old and new wells. Every year in the United States, there are 500,000 new wells. Every year in the United States, there are 500,000 new wells. Every year in the United States, there are 500,000 new wells. But groundwater will not always be there.
but groundwater will not always be there. But groundwater will not always be there. When it rains, some water goes back into the ground. When it rains, some water goes back into the ground. When it rains, some water goes back into the ground. But this happens slowly. But this happens slowly. But this happens slowly. Sometimes there is no water in the wells. The wells are dry. Sometimes there is no water in the wells. The wells are dry. Sometimes there is no water in the wells. The wells are dry. There are other problems too. There are other problems too. There are other problems too. Near the sea, salt water can run into the groundwater. Near the sea, Salt water can run into the groundwater. Near the sea, salt water can run into the groundwater. Then the wells are salty. Then 
the wells are salty. Then, the wells are salty. More and more people need more and more water. More and more people need more and more water. More and more people need more and more water. One day, there will perhaps be no groundwater in some countries, or it will be too dirty for them. One day, there will perhaps be no groundwater in some countries, or it will be too dirty for them. One day, there will perhaps be no groundwater in some countries, or it will be too dirty for them. Listen and practice. English reading practice. Water from rain. There is 30 times more water in groundwater than in the world's rivers and lakes. Everybody has to have clean water. So, where does it come from? It comes, of course, from rain. But there are always problems with rain. In some places, it doesn't rain for months. In other places, or in the same places, it suddenly rains for days. In countries across the centre of Africa and in South Asia, heavy rain usually starts to fall in the middle of June. It rains every day for two or three months, and there are floods. But farmers can then use the land. In the other months of the year, there is not much rain. It is very hot and dry, and there is not enough water. In some places in North Africa and the west of Australia, it doesn't rain for years. For every person in Europe and the United States, 3,000 to 6,000 litres of rain falls every day but it doesn't always fall in the right places. A lot of it falls in mountains, and most people don't live in the mountains. The rainwater runs into the ground or into rivers, and the rivers take it away to the sea. We also lose a lot of rain because it falls in the sea. There is always water in the air. When you put wet clothes out in warm air, they get dry. After it rains on the roads, a lot of the water goes up into the air.
you can see it. This happens because the sun is taking the water from the ground into the air. The air takes up water from the seas too. And this water is fresh, not salty. The salt stays in the sea. Warm air can carry more water than cold air. When the air gets colder, it starts to lose the water. Then we see clouds. The air moves in the wind. Then, when warm air meets high ground, it goes higher. The warm air gets colder, and the water in the air makes clouds. The clouds get colder and darker, and the water gets heavier. Then it starts to rain. When the air is very cold, it snows. Rain or snow falls to the ground, and a lot of it runs into rivers. The rivers run into the sea. Then it all starts again. It doesn't have to rain. When wet air meets something cold, water falls on it. Look at your car in the early morning, or the trees in your garden. After a cold night, everything is wet with fresh water from the air. This is clean water. In countries without much rain, they often drink this water. In Tunisia, the weather is very dry. But in the early mornings, the ground is often wet. In some places, people can plant fruit trees and the trees do well. But is rain really clean water? Can we drink it? The answer is usually yes. But think about the rain after it falls. Water in rivers and lakes is fresh, but it isn't always clean. Dirty water runs into them from cities, factories and farms. So we have to clean the water before we can drink it. Sometimes the air moves through smoke and dirty air above factories. Then the water in it gets dirty too. Later, when it falls, the rain can kill trees on the land and fish in lakes. A lot of rain runs into the ground, not into rivers, and it stays there. When we find this groundwater, we can pump it up. Usually, it is clean and fresh. More than half of the water in European and North American homes and workplaces comes from groundwater. Sometimes the water is only two or three meters under the ground. Sometimes it is a long way down. In the hottest and driest countries of the world, groundwater is very important. In the countries of North Africa, there is very little rain, but under the ground, there are great lakes of fresh water. For hundreds of years, North Africa had rain, and the rain stayed under the ground. There were rivers, trees, and a lot of people. Today, the people of North Africa pump this water up and use it. Saudi Arabia and other dry countries also use groundwater. Drivers take it from the pumps to the small villages. There is 30 times more water in groundwater than in the world's rivers and lakes. 
people pump up groundwater from old and new wells. Every year in the United States, there are 500,000 new wells. But groundwater will not always be there. When it rains, some water goes back into the ground. But this happens slowly. Sometimes there is no water in the wells. The wells are dry. There are other problems too. Near the sea, salt water can run into the groundwater. Then the wells are salty. More and more people need more and more water. One day, there will perhaps be no groundwater in some countries, or it will be too dirty for them. Listen and practice. Trees are all around us, in forests, gardens, and parks. There are many different trees, and they give us many things. Where do you see trees? What do we get from trees? What is a tree? A tree is a tall plant. It has leaves, branches, a trunk, and roots. A tree makes its food with light from the sun. It grows tall so it can get lots of light. Some coast redwood trees are 110 meters tall. A tree grows every day. Look at this old tree trunk. How old is it? Count the rings. Every ring is one year. Parts of a tree. What do the different parts of a tree do? Leaves grow on branches. They make food for the tree. To make food, they use water, air, and light from the sun. Roots take water from the ground. The trunk takes food down the tree from the leaves, and it takes water up the tree from the roots. Bark is the wood on the outside of the trunk. It protects the trunk. Flowers and Seeds Some trees have big flowers. Some trees have very little flowers. Flowers make pollen. The wind blows pollen from one flower to other flowers. Insects take pollen to other flowers too. Then the tree can grow seeds. Seeds grow inside fruit. The fruit protects the seeds. The fruit falls from the tree. Then the seeds go into the ground. New trees grow from the seeds. Different trees. Some trees are broad leaves, and some trees are conifers. Broad leaves 
have flat leaves. Conifers have thin, sharp needles. Conifers are strong trees. Animals can't eat the sharp needles. The needles don't get dry, so the trees can grow in dry weather. Conifers can grow in hot weather or cold weather. Many broad leaves can't grow in cold weather or dry weather. Then, all the leaves fall off the tree. The leaves grow again in hot weather or rainy weather. Half a million leaves can fall off a very, very big tree. What trees do? Trees are good for us. We use oxygen in the air to live. Too much carbon dioxide in the air is bad for us. Trees clean the air. They take carbon dioxide out of the air and they put oxygen into the air. Trees protect us from the rain and the light from the sun. Trees are good for the ground, too. The roots make the ground strong. The ground around trees isn't dry, so other plants can grow. We can play and have fun in trees, too. Thank you, trees! Things from trees Apples, oranges, bananas, nuts, and lots of other fruit grow on trees. We get rubber from trees, too. We make car tires and many other things with rubber. The trunks and branches of trees give us wood. We make toys, tables, homes, and many other things with wood. We make paper with wood. We use wood to make fires, too. Homes in Trees Many birds, insects, and other animals live in trees. Animals can find food there. Trees protect animals from the wind and rain. Trees can protect animals from other animals, too. Some plants live in trees, too. Protect trees Some animals and little plants are bad for trees. Animals eat the leaves and bark. Little plants grow around the trunk. Then the tree can't get water. People are bad for trees, too. Cars, fires, and factories can make the air and rain dirty. Then the trees can't grow. Some people cut down trees. They take wood and they make new things on the land. Every day, people cut down about 10 million trees. Let's stop this. Let's grow new trees.
Let's protect trees. Listen and practice. Trees are all around us in forests, gardens, and parks. Trees are all around us in forests, gardens, and parks. Trees are all around us in forests, gardens, and parks. There are many different trees. There are many different trees. There are many different trees. And they give us many things. And they give us many things. And they give us many things. Where do you see trees? Where do you see trees? Where do you see trees? What do we get from trees? What do we get from trees? What do we get from trees? What is a tree? What is a tree? What is a tree? A tree is a tall plant. A tree is a tall plant. A tree is a tall plant. It has leaves, branches, a trunk, and roots. It has leaves, branches, a trunk, and roots. It has leaves, branches, a trunk, and roots. A tree makes its food with light from the sun.
A tree makes its food with light from the sun. A tree makes its food with light from the sun. It grows tall so it can get lots of light. It grows tall so it can get lots of light. It grows tall so it can get lots of light. Some coast redwood trees are 110 meters tall. Some coast redwood trees are 110 meters tall. Some coast redwood trees are 110 meters tall. A tree grows every day. A tree grows every day. A tree grows every day. Look at this old tree trunk. Look at this old tree trunk. Look at this old tree trunk. How old is it? How old is it? How old is it? Count the rings. Count the rings. Count the rings. Every ring is one year. Every ring is one year. Every ring is one year. Parts of a tree. Parts of a tree. Parts of a tree. What do the different parts of a tree do?
What do the different parts of a tree do? What do the different parts of a tree do? Leaves grow on branches. Leaves grow on branches. Leaves grow on branches. They make food for the tree. They make food for the tree. They make food for the tree. To make food, they use water, air, and light from the sun. To make food, they use water, air, and light from the sun. To make food, they use water, air, and light from the sun. Roots take water from the ground. Roots take water from the ground. Roots take water. From the ground, the trunk takes food down the tree from the leaves. The trunk takes food down the tree from the leaves. The trunk takes food down the tree from the leaves, and it takes water up the tree from the roots. And it takes water up the tree. From the roots, and it takes water up the tree from the roots. Bark is the wood on the outside of the trunk. Bark is the wood on the outside of the trunk. Bark is the wood on the outside of the trunk. It protects the trunk.
It protects the trunk. It protects the trunk. Flowers and seeds. Flowers and seeds. Flowers and seeds. Some trees have big flowers. Some trees have big flowers. Some trees have big flowers. Some trees have very little flowers. Some trees have very little flowers. Some trees have very little flowers. Flowers make pollen. Flowers make pollen. Flowers make pollen. The wind blows pollen from one flower to other flowers. The wind blows pollen from one flower to other flowers. The wind blows pollen from one flower to other flowers. Insects take pollen to other flowers too. Insects take pollen to other flowers too. Insects take pollen to other flowers too. Then the tree can grow seeds. Then the tree can grow seeds. Then the tree can grow seeds. Seeds grow inside fruit. Seeds grow inside fruit. Seeds grow inside fruit. The fruit protects the seeds.
The fruit protects the seeds. The fruit protects the seeds. The fruit falls from the tree. The fruit falls from the tree. The fruit falls from the tree. Then the seeds go into the ground. Then the seeds go into the ground. Then the seeds go into the ground. New trees grow from the seeds. New trees grow from the seeds. New trees grow from the seeds. Different trees. Different trees. Different trees. Some trees are broad leaves. Some trees are broad leaves. Some trees are broad leaves. And some trees are conifers. And some trees are conifers. And some trees are conifers. Broad leaves have flat leaves. Broad leaves have flat leaves. Broad leaves have flat leaves. Conifers have thin, sharp needles. Conifers have thin, sharp needles. Conifers have thin, sharp needles. Conifers are strong trees. Conifers 
are strong trees. Conifers are strong trees. The needles don't get dry, so the trees can grow in dry weather. The needles don't get dry, so the trees can grow in dry weather. The needles don't get dry, so the trees can grow in dry weather. Conifers can grow in hot weather or cold weather. Conifers can grow in hot weather or cold weather. Conifers can grow in hot weather or cold weather. Many broad leaves can't grow in cold weather or dry weather. Many broad leaves can't grow in cold weather or dry weather. Many broad leaves can't grow in cold weather or dry weather. Then, all the leaves fall off the tree. Then, all the leaves fall off the tree. Then, all the leaves fall off the tree. The leaves grow again in hot weather or rainy weather. The leaves grow again in hot weather or rainy weather. The leaves grow again in hot weather or rainy weather. Half a million leaves can fall off a very, very big tree. Half a million leaves can fall off a very, very big tree. Half a million leaves can fall off a very, very big tree. What trees do.
What trees do? What trees do? Trees are good for us. Trees are good for us. Trees are good for us. We use oxygen in the air to live. We use oxygen in the air to live. We use oxygen in the air to live. Too much carbon dioxide in the air is bad for us. Too much carbon dioxide in the air is bad for us. Too much carbon dioxide in the air is bad for us. Trees clean the air. Trees clean the air. Trees clean the air. They take carbon dioxide out of the air. They take carbon dioxide out of the air. They take carbon dioxide out of the air and they put oxygen into the air. And they put oxygen into the air. And they put oxygen into the air. Trees protect us from the rain. Trees protect us from the rain. Trees protect us from the rain and the light from the sun. And the light from the sun. And the light from the sun. Trees are good for the ground, too. Trees are good for the ground, too.
trees are good for the ground too. The roots make the ground strong. The roots make the ground strong. The roots make the ground strong. The ground around trees isn't dry. The ground around trees isn't dry. The ground around trees isn't dry. So other plants can grow. So other plants can grow. So other plants can grow. We can play and have fun in trees too. We can play and have fun in trees too. We can play and have fun in trees too. Thank you, trees. Thank you, trees. Thank you, trees. Things from trees. Things from trees. Things from trees. Apples, oranges, bananas, nuts, and lots of other fruit grow on trees. Apples, oranges, bananas, nuts, and lots of other fruit grow on trees. Apples, oranges, bananas, nuts, and lots of other fruit grow on trees. We get rubber from trees, too.
We get rubber from trees too. We get rubber from trees too. We make car tires and many other things with rubber. We make car tires and many other things with rubber. We make car tires and many other things with rubber. The trunks and branches of trees give us wood. The trunks and branches of trees give us wood. The trunks and branches of trees give us wood. We make toys, tables, homes, and many other things with wood. We make toys, tables, homes, and many other things with wood. We make toys, tables, homes, and many other things with wood. We make paper with wood. We make paper with wood. We make paper with wood. We use wood to make fires too. We use wood to make fires too. We use wood to make fires too. Homes in trees. Homes in trees. Homes in trees. Many birds, insects, and other animals live in trees.
Many birds, insects, and other animals live in trees. Many birds, insects, and other animals live in trees. Animals can find food there. Animals can find food there. Animals can find food there. Trees protect animals from the wind and rain. Trees protect animals from the wind and rain. Trees protect animals from the wind and rain. Trees can protect animals from other animals too. Trees can protect animals from other animals too. Trees can protect animals from other animals too. Some plants live in trees too. Some plants live in trees too. Some plants live in trees too. Protect trees. Protect trees. Protect trees. Some animals and little plants are bad for trees. Some animals and little plants are bad for trees. Some animals and little plants are bad for trees. Animals eat the leaves and bark. Animals eat the leaves and bark.
animals eat the leaves and bark. Little plants grow around the trunk. Little plants grow around the trunk. Little plants grow around the trunk. Then the tree can't get water. Then the tree can't get water. Then the tree can't get water. People are bad for trees too. People are bad for trees too. People are bad for trees too. Cars, fires, and factories can make the air and rain dirty. Cars, fires, and factories can make the air and rain dirty. Cars, fires, and factories can make the air and rain dirty. Then the trees can't grow. Then the trees can't grow. Then the trees can't grow. Some people cut down trees. Some people cut down trees. Some people cut down trees. They take wood and they make new things on the land. They take wood and they make new things on the land. They take wood and they make new things on the land. Every day, people cut down about ten million trees.
Every day, people cut down about ten million trees. Every day, people cut down about ten million trees. Let's stop this. Let's stop this. Let's stop this. Let's grow new trees. Let's grow new trees. Let's grow new trees. Let's protect trees. Let's protect trees. Let's protect trees. Listen and practice. Trees are all around us, in forests, gardens, and parks. There are many different trees, and they give us many things. Where do you see trees? What do we get from trees? What is a tree? A tree is a tall plant. It has leaves, branches, a trunk, and roots. A tree makes its food with light from the sun. It grows tall, so it can get lots of light. Some coast redwood trees are 110 meters tall. A tree grows every day. Look at this old tree trunk. How old is it? Count the rings. Every ring is one year. Parts of a tree. What do the different parts of a tree do? Leaves grow on branches. They make food for the tree. To make food, they use water. Air and light from the sun. Roots take water from the ground. The trunk takes food down the tree from the leaves, and it takes water up the tree from the roots. Bark is the wood on the outside of the trunk. It protects the trunk. Flowers and seeds. Some trees have big flowers. Some trees have very little flowers. Flowers make pollen. The wind blows pollen from one flower. To other flowers, insects take pollen 
to other flowers too. Then the tree can grow seeds. Seeds grow inside fruit. The fruit protects the seeds. The fruit falls from the tree. Then the seeds go into the ground. New trees grow from the seeds. Different trees. Some trees are broad leaves, and some trees are conifers. Broad leaves have flat leaves. Conifers have thin, sharp needles. Conifers are strong trees. Animals can't eat the sharp needles. The needles don't get dry, so the trees can grow in dry weather. Conifers can grow in hot weather or cold weather. Many broad leaves can't grow in cold weather or dry weather. Then, all the leaves fall off the tree. The leaves grow again in hot weather or rainy weather. Half a million leaves can fall off a very, very big tree. What trees do? Trees are good for us. We use oxygen in the air to live. Too much carbon dioxide in the air is bad for us. Trees clean the air. They take carbon dioxide out of the air and they put oxygen into the air. Trees protect us from the rain and the light from the sun. Trees are good for the ground, too. The roots make the ground strong. The ground around trees isn't dry, so other plants can grow. We can play and have fun in trees, too. Thank you, trees! Things from trees Apples, oranges, bananas, nuts, and lots of other fruit grow on trees. We get rubber from trees, too. We make car tires and many other things with rubber. The trunks and branches of trees give us wood. We make toys, tables, homes, and many other things with wood. We make paper with wood. We use wood to make fires, too. Homes in Trees Many birds, insects, and other animals live in trees. Animals can find food there. Trees protect animals from the wind and rain. Trees can protect animals from other animals, too. Some plants live in trees, too. Protect trees Some animals and little plants are bad for trees. Animals eat the leaves and bark. Little plants grow around the trunk. Then the tree can't get water. 
People are bad for trees too. Cars, fires, and factories can make the air and rain dirty. Then the trees can't grow. Some people cut down trees. They take wood, and they make new things on the land. Every day, people cut down about ten million trees. Let's stop this. Let's grow new trees. Let's protect trees. Three. Listen and practice. English reading practice. Welcome to Alaska. Where is Alaska? How big is it? Who lives there? Eskimos first lived in Alaska more than seven thousand years ago. Today, about sixteen percent of all Alaskans are Eskimos. These people are really three groups: the Inupiaq, the Yupik, and the Aleutic. These groups are not very different, but they speak different languages. Alaska was a part of Russia for a long time. Then, in 1867, the United States bought it from Russia for 7.2 million dollars. Many people thought this was too much money, but in the late 1840s, the Americans found gold in Alaska. Then, in 1901, they found some oil there. Later, in the 1950s, they found lots of oil. Alaska is a very big place. It's the biggest state, more than twice as big as Texas, the next biggest state. But not many people live there. Over eight million people live in New York City, but only seven hundred thirty thousand live in all of Alaska, and about half of them live in the city of Anchorage. Alaska has many mountains and glaciers. A glacier is like a river of ice. The Matanuska Glacier is one of the most beautiful. The winters are freezing with a lot of snowstorms. In winter, it is also very dark because there is no sun in the far northern part of the state, and in other areas, it comes out for only two to seven hours every day. Listen and practice. Welcome to Alaska. Welcome to Alaska. Welcome to Alaska. Where is Alaska? Where is Alaska? Where is Alaska? How big is it? How big is it? How big is it? Who lives there? Who lives there? Who lives there? Eskimos first lived in Alaska more than seven thousand years ago. Eskimos first lived in Alaska more than seven thousand years ago. Eskimos first lived in Alaska more than seven thousand years ago. Today, about sixteen percent of all Alaskans are Eskimos. Today, about sixteen percent of all Alaskans are Eskimos. Today, about sixteen percent of all Alaskans are Eskimos. These people are really three groups: the Inupiaq, the Yupik, and the Aleutic.
These people are really three groups, the Inupiaq, the Yupik, and the Aleutic. These people are really three groups, the Inupiaq, the Yupik, and the Aleutic. These groups are not very different, but they speak different languages. These groups are not very different, but they speak different languages. These groups are not very different, but they speak different languages. Alaska was a part of Russia for a long time. Alaska was a part of Russia for a long time. Alaska was a part of Russia for a long time. Then in 1867, the United States bought it from Russia for $7.2 million. Then in 1867, the United States bought it from Russia for $7.2 million. Then in 1867, the United States bought it from Russia for $7.2 million. Many people thought this was too much money. Many people thought this was too much money. Many people thought this was too much money. But in the late 1840s, the Americans found gold in Alaska. But in the late 1840s, the Americans found gold in Alaska. But in the late 1840s, the Americans found gold in Alaska. Then in 1901, they found some oil there. Then in 1901, they found some oil there. Then in 1901, they found some oil there. Later in the 1950s, they found lots of oil. Later in the 1950s, they found lots of oil. Later in the 1950s, they found lots of oil. Alaska is a very big place. Alaska is a very big place. Alaska is a very big place. It's the biggest state, more than twice as big as Texas, the next biggest state. It's the biggest state, more than twice as big as Texas, the next biggest state. It's the biggest state more than twice as big as Texas, the next biggest state. But not many people live there. But not many people live there. But not many people live there. Over 8 million people live in New York City. Over 8 million people live in New York City. Over 8 million people live in New York City. But only 730,000 live in all of Alaska.
but only 730,000 live in all of Alaska. But only 730,000 live in all of Alaska. And about half of them live in the city of Anchorage. And about half of them live in the city of Anchorage. And about half of them live in the city of Anchorage. Alaska has many mountains and glaciers. Alaska has many mountains and glaciers. Alaska has many mountains and glaciers. A glacier is like a river of ice. A glacier is like a river of ice. A glacier is like a river of ice. The Matanuska Glacier is one of the most beautiful. The Matanuska Glacier is one of the most beautiful. The Matanuska Glacier is one of the most beautiful. The winters are freezing with a lot of snowstorms. The winters are freezing with a lot of snowstorms. The winters are freezing with a lot of snowstorms. In winter, it is also very dark because there is no sun in the far northern part of the state. In winter, it is also very dark because there is no sun in the far northern part of the state. In winter, it is also very dark because there is no sun in the far northern part of the state. And in other areas, it comes out for only two to seven hours every day. And in other areas, it comes out for only two to seven hours every day. And in other areas, it comes out for only two to seven hours every day. Listen and practice. English reading practice. Welcome to Alaska. Where is Alaska? How big is it? Who lives there? Eskimos first lived in Alaska more than 7,000 years ago. Today, about 16% of all Alaskans are Eskimos. These people are really three groups, the Inupiaq, the Yupik, and the Aleutic. These groups are not very different, but they speak different languages. Alaska was a part of Russia for a long time. Then in 1867, the United States bought it from Russia for $7.2 million. Many people thought this was too much money, but in the late 1840s, the Americans found gold in Alaska. Then in 1901, they found some oil there. Later in the 1950s, they found lots of oil. Alaska is a very big place. It's the biggest state, more than twice as big as Texas, the next biggest state. But not many people live there. Over 8 million people live in New York City, but only 730,000 live in all of Alaska, and about half of them live in the city of Anchorage. Alaska has many mountains and glaciers. A glacier is like a river of ice. The Matanuska Glacier is one of the most beautiful. The winters are freezing with a lot of snowstorms. In winter, it is also very dark because there is no sun in the far northern part of the state, and in other areas, it comes out for only two to seven hours every day.
Listen and practice. Welcome to Alaska. Welcome to Alaska. Welcome to Alaska. Where is Alaska? Where is Alaska? Where is Alaska? How big is it? How big is it? How big is it? Who lives there? Who lives there? Who lives there? Eskimos first lived in Alaska more than 7,000 years ago. Eskimos first lived in Alaska more than 7,000 years ago. Eskimos first lived in Alaska more than 7,000 years ago. Today, about 16% of all Alaskans are Eskimos. Today, about 16% of all Alaskans are Eskimos. Today, about 16% of all Alaskans are Eskimos. These people are really three groups, the Inupiaq, the Yupik, and the Aleutic. These people are really three groups, the Inupiaq, the Yupik, and the Aleutic. These people are really three groups, the Inupiaq, the Yupik, and the Aleutic. These groups are not very different, but they speak different languages. These groups are not very different, but they speak different languages. These groups are not very different, but they speak different languages. Alaska was a part of Russia for a long time. Alaska was a part of Russia for a long time. Alaska was a part of Russia for a long time. Then in 1867, the United States bought it from Russia for $7.2 million. Then in 1867, the United States bought it from Russia for $7.2 million. Then in 1867, the United States bought it from Russia for $7.2 million. Many people thought this was too much money. Many people thought this was too much money. Many people thought this was too much money. But in the late 1840s, the Americans found gold in Alaska. But in the late 1840s, the Americans found gold in Alaska. But in the late 1840s, the Americans found gold in Alaska. Then in 1901, they found some oil there. Then in 1901, they found some oil there. Then in 
that in 1901 they found some oil there. Later in the 1950s, they found lots of oil. Later in the 1950s, they found lots of oil. Later in the 1950s, they found lots of oil. Alaska is a very big place. Alaska is a very big place. Alaska is a very big place. It's the biggest state, more than twice as big as Texas, the next biggest state. It's the biggest state, more than twice as big as Texas, the next biggest state. It's the biggest state, more than twice as big as Texas, the next biggest state. But not many people live there. But not many people live there. But not many people live there. Over 8 million people live in New York City. Over 8 million people live in New York City. Over 8 million people live in New York City. But only 730,000 live in all of Alaska. But only 730,000 live in all of Alaska. But only 730,000 live in all of Alaska. And about half of them live in the city of Anchorage. And about half of them live in the city of Anchorage. And about half of them live in the city of Anchorage. Alaska has many mountains and glaciers. Alaska has many mountains and glaciers. Alaska has many mountains and glaciers. A glacier is like a river of ice. A glacier is like a river of ice. A glacier is like a river of ice. The Matanuska Glacier is one of the most beautiful. The Matanuska Glacier is one of the most beautiful. The Matanuska Glacier is one of the most beautiful. The winters are freezing with a lot of snowstorms. The winters are freezing with a lot of snowstorms. The winters are freezing with a lot of snowstorms. In winter, it is also very dark because there is no sun in the far northern part of the state. In winter, it is also very dark because there is no sun in the far northern part of the state. In winter, it is also very dark because there is no sun in the far northern part of the state. And in other areas, it comes out for only two to seven hours every day.
and in other areas it comes out for only two to seven hours every day. And in other areas it comes out for only two to seven hours every day. Listen and practice. English reading practice. Visit Kodiak Island. There is a lot of outdoor fun on Kodiak Island. Kodiak Island is in the southern part of Alaska. It is the second largest island in the United States, but it has less than 160 kilometers of roads. There are lots of high mountains, green forests, rivers, and lakes. About 30,000 visitors come to Kodiak every year. They come to climb mountains, catch fish, watch whales jump in the sea, and go camping. Bear watching is also very popular. The island gets its name from the big Kodiak bear. There are over 3,500 of these wonderful animals living in the forests, but you must be very quiet if you want to see one. About 13,000 people live on Kodiak Island all year, and half of them live in Kodiak City. The others live in small villages by the sea. The Aleutic people were the first to live on the island. They came 7,500 years ago, and they stayed. Today, about 17% of all the people on Kodiak Island are Lutics. They speak English and Aleutic. In 2010, only 50 people spoke the Aleutic language. But now, schools are teaching the language because they don't want it to die. The most important businesses here are fishing and tourism. There are seven hotels, 17 places to eat, and many shops in Kodiak City. The shops sell things made on the island. Listen and practice. Visit Kodiak Island. Visit Kodiak Island. Visit Kodiak Island. There is a lot of outdoor fun on Kodiak Island. There is a lot of outdoor fun on Kodiak Island. There is a lot of outdoor fun on Kodiak Island. Kodiak Island is in the southern part of Alaska. Kodiak Island is in the southern part of Alaska. Kodiak Island is in the southern part of Alaska. It is the second largest island in the United States, but it has less than 160 kilometers of roads. It is the second largest island in the United States, but it has less than 160 kilometers of roads. It is the second largest island in the United States, but it has less than 160 kilometers of roads. There are lots of high mountains, green forests, rivers, and lakes. There are lots of high mountains, green forests, rivers, and lakes. There are lots of high mountains, green forests, rivers, and lakes. About 30,000 visitors come to Kodiak every year. About 30,000 visitors come to Kodiak every year. About 
About 30,000 visitors come to Kodiak every year. They come to climb mountains, catch fish, watch whales jump in the sea, and go camping. They come to climb mountains, catch fish, watch whales jump in the sea, and go camping. They come to climb mountains, catch fish, watch whales jump in the sea, and go camping. Bear watching is also very popular. Bear watching is also very popular. Bear watching is also very popular. The island gets its name from the big Kodiak bear. The island gets its name from the big Kodiak bear. The island gets its name from the big Kodiak bear. There are over 3,500 of these wonderful animals living in the forests. There are over 3,500 of these wonderful animals living in the forests. There are over 3,500 of these wonderful animals living in the forests. But you must be very quiet if you want to see one. But you must be very quiet if you want to see one. But you must be very quiet if you want to see one. About 13,000 people live on Kodiak Island all year. About 13,000 people live on Kodiak Island all year. About 13,000 people live on Kodiak Island all year. And half of them live in Kodiak City. And half of them live in Kodiak City. And half of them live in Kodiak City. The others live in small villages by the sea. The others live in small villages by the sea. The others live in small villages by the sea. The Alutic people were the first to live on the island. The Aleutic people were the first to live on the island. The Aleutic people were the first to live on the island. They came 7,500 years ago, and they stayed. They came 7,500 years ago, and they stayed. They came 7,500 years ago, and they stayed. Today, about 17% of all the people on Kodiak Island are Lutics.
Today, about 17% of all the people on Kodiak Island are Lutics. Today, about 17% of all the people on Kodiak Island are Lutics. They speak English and a Lutic. They speak English and a Lutic. They speak English and a Lutic. In 2010, only 50 people spoke the Aleutic language. In 2010, only 50 people spoke the Aleutic language. In 2010, only 50 people spoke the Aleutic language. But now, schools are teaching the language because they don't want it to die. But now, schools are teaching the language because they don't want it to die. But now, schools are teaching the language because they don't want it to die. The most important businesses here are fishing and tourism. The most important businesses here are fishing and tourism. The most important businesses here are fishing and tourism. There are seven hotels, 17 places to eat, and many shops in Kodiak City. There are seven hotels, 17 places to eat, and many shops in Kodiak City. There are seven hotels, 17 places to eat, and many shops in Kodiak City. The shops sell things made on the island. The shops sell things made on the island. The shops sell things made on the island. Visit Kodiak Island. There is a lot of outdoor fun on Kodiak Island. Kodiak Island is in the southern part of Alaska. It is the second largest island in the United States, but it has less than 160 kilometers of roads. There are lots of high mountains, green forests, rivers, and lakes. About 30,000 visitors come to Kodiak every year. They come to climb mountains, catch fish, watch whales jump in the sea, and go camping. Bear watching is also very popular. The island gets its name from the big Kodiak bear. There are over 3,500 of these wonderful animals living in the forests, but you must be very quiet if you want to see one. About 13,000 people live on Kodiak Island all year, and half of them live in Kodiak City. The others live in small villages by the sea. The Aleutic people were the first to live on the island. They came 7,500 years ago, and they stayed. Today, about 17% of all the people on Kodiak Island are Lutics. They speak English and Aleutic. In 2010, only 50 people spoke the Aleutic language. But now, schools are teaching the language because they don't want it to die. The most important businesses here are fishing and tourism. There are seven hotels, 17 places to eat, and many shops in Kodiak City. The shops sell things made on the island.
Listen and practice. Visit Kodiak Island. Visit Kodiak Island. Visit Kodiak Island. There is a lot of outdoor fun on Kodiak Island. There is a lot of outdoor fun on Kodiak Island. There is a lot of outdoor fun on Kodiak Island. Kodiak Island is in the southern part of Alaska. Kodiak Island is in the southern part of Alaska. Kodiak Island is in the southern part of Alaska. It is the second largest island in the United States, but it has less than 160 kilometers of roads. It is the second largest island in the United States, but it has less than 160 kilometers of roads. It is the second largest island in the United States, but it has less than 160 kilometers of roads. There are lots of high mountains, green forests, rivers, and lakes. There are lots of high mountains, green forests, rivers, and lakes. There are lots of high mountains, green forests, rivers, and lakes. About 30,000 visitors come to Kodiak every year. About 30,000 visitors come to Kodiak every year. About 30,000 visitors come to Kodiak every year. They come to climb mountains, catch fish, watch whales jump in the sea, and go camping. They come to climb mountains, catch fish, watch whales jump in the sea, and go camping. They come to climb mountains, catch fish, watch whales jump in the sea, and go camping. Bear watching is also very popular. Bear watching is also very popular. Bear watching is also very popular. The island gets its name from the big Kodiak bear. The island gets its name from the big Kodiak bear. The island gets its name from the big Kodiak bear. There are over 3,500 of these wonderful animals living in the forests. There are over 3,500 of these wonderful animals living in the forests. There are over 3,500 of these wonderful animals living in the forests. But you must be very quiet if you want to see one.
but you must be very quiet if you want to see one. But you must be very quiet if you want to see one. About 13,000 people live on Kodiak Island all year. About 13,000 people live on Kodiak Island all year. About 13,000 people live on Kodiak Island all year. And half of them live in Kodiak City. And half of them live in Kodiak City. And half of them live in Kodiak City. The others live in small villages by the sea. The others live in small villages by the sea. The others live in small villages by the sea. The Aleutic people were the first to live on the island. The Aleutic people were the first to live on the island. The Aleutic people were the first to live on the island. They came 7,500 years ago, and they stayed. They came 7,500 years ago, and they stayed. They came 7,500 years ago, and they stayed. Today, about 17% of all the people on Kodiak Island are Lutics. Today, about 17% of all the people on Kodiak Island are Lutics. Today, about 17% of all the people on Kodiak Island are Lutics. They speak English and Alutic. They speak English and Alutic. They speak English and Alutic. In 2010, only 50 people spoke the Alutic language. In 2010, only 50 people spoke the Aleutic language. In 2010, only 50 people spoke the Aleutic language. But now, schools are teaching the language because they don't want it to die. But now, schools are teaching the language because they don't want it to die. But now, schools are teaching the language because they don't want it to die. The most important businesses here are fishing and tourism. The most important businesses here are fishing and tourism. The most important businesses here are fishing and tourism. There are seven hotels, 17 places to eat, and many shops in Kodiak City.
There are seven hotels, 17 places to eat, and many shops in Kodiak City. There are seven hotels, 17 places to eat, and many shops in Kodiak City. The shops sell things made on the island. The shops sell things made on the island. The shops sell things made on the island. Listen and practice. Enjoy outside sports. Do you love doing sports outside? Then Alaska is the place for you. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air, and they come to do extreme sports, sports that are exciting but also dangerous. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It takes about three weeks. It's really cold when you get to the top, so most people stay there for only a short time. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. Skiing is popular in Alaska. There is a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau is an excellent mountain for skiing. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. He used six pairs of boots, but he also went on rivers on a raft and he skied too. He slept in a tent. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life and he doesn't want to stop. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. Listen and practice. Enjoy outside sports. Enjoy outside sports. Enjoy outside sports. Do you love doing sports outside? Do you love doing sports outside? Do you love doing sports outside? Then Alaska is the place for you. Then Alaska is the place for you. Then Alaska is the place for you. 
Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air. And they come to do extreme sports. And they come to do extreme sports. And they come to do extreme sports. Sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It takes about three weeks. It takes about three weeks. It takes about three weeks. It's really cold when you get to the top. It's really cold when you get to the top. It's really cold when you get to the top. So most people stay there for only a short time. So most people stay there for only a short time. So most people stay there for only a short time. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. 
In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. Skiing is popular in Alaska. Skiing is popular in Alaska. Skiing is popular in Alaska. There's a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. There's a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. There's a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. 
Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. He used six pairs of boots. He used six pairs of boots. He used six pairs of boots. But he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too. But he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too.
but he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too. He slept in a tent. He slept in a tent. He slept in a tent. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life and he doesn't want to stop. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. Listen and practice. Enjoy outside sports. Do you love doing sports outside? Then Alaska is the place for you. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air, and they come to do extreme sports, sports that are exciting but also dangerous. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It takes about three weeks. It's really cold when you get to the top, so most people stay there for only a short time. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. In June 2012, Four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. Skiing is popular in Alaska. There is a lot of snow, and there are many good places to ski. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. 
Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. He used six pairs of boots. But he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too. He slept in a tent. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. Listen and practice. Enjoy outside sports. Enjoy outside sports. Enjoy outside sports. Do you love doing sports outside? Do you love doing sports outside? Do you love doing sports outside? Then Alaska is the place for you. Then Alaska is the place for you. Then Alaska is the place for you. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air. And they come to do extreme sports. And they come to do extreme sports. And they come to do extreme sports. Sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It takes about three weeks. It 
It takes about three weeks. It takes about three weeks. It's really cold when you get to the top. It's really cold when you get to the top. It's really cold when you get to the top. So most people stay there for only a short time. So most people stay there for only a short time. So most people stay there for only a short time. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you.
skiing is popular in Alaska. Skiing is popular in Alaska. Skiing is popular in Alaska. There's a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. There's a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. There's a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. In 2010, 
Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. He used six pairs of boots. He used six pairs of boots. He used six pairs of boots. But he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too. But he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too. But he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too. He slept in a tent. He slept in a tent. He slept in a tent. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels.